Hey everyone, Lainey here. I want to welcome you to this special brief episode commemorating what would have been Oakley Carlson's seventh birthday. Today, amidst the quest for justice, I want to collectively celebrate the love that binds Oakley to her real family, Eric and Jamie Joe Hiles. As we embark on this emotional journey, I want you to savor the essence of Oakley's energy. You can see it in all of the pictures that are shared of her. In a moment that's filled with love, Jamie Jo Hiles will read a heartfelt letter to her daughter, inviting us all to share in the warmth of their connection. For those wanting to witness the beauty of Oakley Lynn Carlson, you can find the video tribute on YouTube, and I've linked it in the show notes. As we honor Oakley's memory today, let's collectively wish her a happy birthday in our hearts, turning this episode into a chorus of celebration and love. Dear Oakley Lynn, my noodle girl, When I lay in bed at night, I can't believe that you used to lay in our bed with your feet on my back and it would bother me. I would do anything to have you put your clammy feet on my back now. I can't thank you enough for all the memories you gave Daddy and I through the good and the bad. When you came to us as a little baby, I didn't even know how to change a diaper or install a car seat. Through you, we learned so many things that I didn't know I would have to learn. You had ear infection after ear infection and I was so scared for you to be sick. I'll never forget the time that you had to get another O7 shot. Those are so painful, and you knew as soon as the nurse was laying you down that you were going to get another shot in the leg. You looked at me as I held your hand, and the look you gave me said, please don't do this again. We both cried, and afterward, a nurse walked in with a popsicle, and I didn't know if it was for you or if it was for me because we were both so upset. I know that I didn't give birth to you, but I wish I did. You were everything I dreamed of having in a child. Daddy and I wished and waited so long for a baby, and even though you came to us in an unconventional way, I loved you like you were my own biological child. I love when strangers would tell us that we had the same smile because it meant that people thought I could have even an ounce of your beauty. I will never forgive myself for not protecting you more when you went back to your biological parents. I thought I was doing everything by calling CPS and making reports to DCYF, but didn't save you, and for that I am so sorry. If I could mail this letter to you, I'd want you to know that you're making waves and that so many people are taking action. People in our little town, our state, and around the world know who you are and are thinking of you, praying for you, and doing everything in their power to make sure you're found and that this doesn't happen again. I knew that you'd be influential someday, I just wish it wasn't breaking our hearts in the process. Thank you for loving us, and I promise you that we will do everything we can to bring you justice and to protect your siblings. Lovingly, your mama.